Hi there and welcome back to Japan where today I'm going to be checking out more band made slowly making my way towards hearing all of the songs that you guys like and that are most popular online so I can build up my list of my personal top five band made songs. Now I know you're all bored of hearing me say what I say before every video but just because we always get a lot of people passing by these videos who are not regulars as well I have to point out that I have I'd never heard band made before I started doing it for this channel and I've really enjoyed them. Their hard rock sort of sound appeals to me. I love how all of their songs have individuality and character. I love them as musicians just been a fantastic band however my whole shtick on this channel is to be as honest as possible so I kind of rated all of their songs from there's never been a disappointing one but all the way from sort of yeah it's okay all the way up to amazing and as I listen to more sometimes I'm surprised sometimes I'm not so much but I'm always getting good songs so hopefully I'm not going to hear the first bad one but this is Alone I believe I'm going to be listening to Alone today see what I think of it and uh, go I love it when they do funky stuff like that and they do it a lot in the pre-choruses so let's see how the chorus sounds That's a good hook, it's a good hook. Nice. I've noticed it's a style thing for them that in the second verse they tend to take the established sound of the verse and mix it up with lots of little instrumental syncopations. It really seems to work almost every time they do it. And again the funky pre-chorus. Again, they're all brilliant, but the drama makes this. Just listen to what she's doing. Amazing. <laughs> Is that it? That's it. Alrighty. Well, okay, um, a lot of things to say about that. I mean, first of all, straight off the bat, brilliant song. Really, really good song. Um, a few things I'd analyze about it. First of all, like I say, um, I kind of, I'm always uh, analyzing band-made songs on two scales, which is how much I like it from, yeah, that's really brilliant to, yeah, all the way, all the way between that and the other scale, which is, is it just a band-made song, a normal band-made song thing? They have a sound, they have a formula. I know some people were unhappy about me using the word formula before, but they do have a formula. 
is it a formulaic song or is it one that pushes boundaries? Now, obviously for me, I like when they push boundaries, but I also really like their core sound. So I'm never disappointed with either, if I'm totally honest with you. Um, I just like to be surprised. So where does this fit on our two scales, quality and how band made it is? Well, I would put it somewhere up around about here. <laughs> it's a very, 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 very band made song. It's nothing about that was pushing the boat out in any way. Um, obviously, the more songs I hear by them, the more I get used to their writing style. So I will just quickly break down what I mean by formulaic for them. Obviously, the most obvious thing is it's that sort of medium to high tempo hard rock. We all know that. We all expect that to happen. But it's all the little details, like the fact it starts riff verse, chorus, verse, chorus. The bridge is always made up of, you have a nice little breakdown bit with the bass solo, then the guitar solo, which throws you into the last chorus, and in the last chorus, the drums do some extra syncopation stuff to break it up, and the second chorus in its, sorry, the second verse as well, has lots of little instrumental breaks and syncopation uh, things between all of the instruments to make it sound nice and different from the first one. It is a formula that they've used in so many songs, and I've got no problem with that, because actually, in a way, that's almost like, that's almost like an extension of the perfected formula. I mean, when if we go back to the origins of rock and roll what was rock and roll always used to be it was always used to be a case of verse chorus verse chorus bridge chorus or verse chorus verse chorus third verse chorus if you were slightly less imaginative um so you know that's a formula that has existed for years and the fact that they're just building on that is not a problem but i have to still call it as i see it it is very formulaic so it's it's sticking by the normal band made formula However, like I say, what I really like about it is within that formula, it does a fantastic job. The hook was brilliant. Um, I noticed the other day, I was saying about the quality of uh, band-made hooks, and I found myself a little bit pushed, because I think it was on, um, oh God, I wish I could remember now, I'm talking off the top of my head as usual. Um, it was the more punky one. Um, ooh, the one where she's running around Tokyo. You're going to hate me for not remembering what the song's called. Anyway, um, but I remember saying when I heard that one that you know the, the, the hook was great, but it, you know, it wasn't their best. And then I went back and I was listening to it later, because I've been listening to a lot of the songs again to help me build up this top five list. And I really, it's a fantastic hook. It's a brilliant hook that that, that song had. I was like, why, why didn't I compliment it more? And then I kind of realized, well, it's just because they have got a couple of songs, I won't name them quite yet, but a couple of songs that in my mind, the hooks are so superb that, again, the bar has been set really high. So listening to this one, I was aware of that um, discrepancy between what I say and maybe the way it comes across. The hook in this is not the best band made hook, but it is so good that if any other band came with that, you'd immediately go, that's fantastic. It is a really well written hook, it's really interesting. It does stick to your normal sort of four chord thing, but, is that really a criticism? I think most choruses do. It was just a really nice, catchy hook. It benefited from the rest of the song going really well as well. It was a great movement throughout. The whole thing moved fantastically. Like I said, they utilized that formula of theirs, the, the, the core principles of that formula perfectly. And um, I should also point out that the uh, the bass solo and the guitar solo, as you guys know, sometimes are quite picky about solos. I'm not a big fan of solos as a general. This was another example, as we've heard recently, of how a solo can really work. The bass did a fantastic job, really broke things down, and then the guitar lifted it up fantastically and shot it into the last chorus. But you know what I'm going to say, because I said it during the song, kudos to the drums again. You know, to stand out in a band as good as this is amazing. Um, now, for me... Uh, you know, I, I usually in a rock band, I'm not the bit, I'm not the person to focus too much on guitar. Guitar can really, make, guitar can really make a song, but there's so many guitarists out there and so many great guitarists that, unfortunately, you know, the it's hard to to be like a guitarist where someone goes, oh, you're original or you're different because there's just it's all been done. With bass and drums, there's more to be said. Now, obviously, the bass player in a bandmate is obviously fantastic and everyone, I know the Misa 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 comments are coming. Um, but yeah, no, she's obviously fantastic, but I don't hear enough credit anywhere online 
for the drummer who I just think every time I hear one of these songs I think it's a great song and you could put any drummer on there and it would be great and yet somehow she takes something so detailed and so fantastic and manages to elevate it every single time I mean it's amazing she doesn't just play the beat she actually elevates almost all of these songs which I think is fantastic um it's uh, I was trying to think mentally of a comparison because um so many different styles of drummer I, in a way, I kind of see her in a very similar light, and I do regard this as a heavy compliment, whatever you guys think. I see her in a very similar light, actually, to Travis Barker, in that um, she seems to have this ability to totally change the rhythm underneath a straight rock song, and yet do it in a way where it almost seems like, well, of course, that's what's happening. You know, the rhythm changes, and you can just go, well, that's so perfect. And it so perfectly accents the song that, of course, that was what's going to happen. And that, when you hear it, it seems effortless, but you hear virtually, well, I'd say virtually any other drummer, but certainly most drummers, even in big main bands doing that, and sometimes it just feels a little bit false. Every time she does it, it sounds effortless. All the fills, however busy they are, always sound perfectly placed. Um, she just extracts the most from the song. So again, for me, it doesn't tell me anything new about Band Made. Is it my favorite of a Band Made song? Probably not, although it is a strong contender for that top five once again. But what can I say except for this is another, and there are a few, but this is another really good quintessential example of what makes a band made song good. This is why we like them, this is why we enjoy them. Yes, I am happy when they break away from this formula. I've said that before, I'll say it again. But it's not to say anything less of the sound they have. And um, this, is, this is a brilliant song. So if someone was saying to me, recommend a band made song to other people for a first listen, this would be kind of one of the ones that I might well go for. Anyway, thank you as always for joining me in Japan. Lovely to get your comments, so please get in there, comment, disagree with me, agree with me, debate me, whatever you want. As I always say, I do read all of the comments, even if I don't get enough time to reply to all of them. It is a lot of work running a channel like this on a 10 year old laptop. That's true. For now though, from Japan, and <sighs>